Hello YouTube and fellow comic book aficionados. Today I have a very special video to share with you. This is my very first ever collection video. Uh, seeing as I've been at this YouTube game for a little over a year now, I figured it was t you know time to show off my collection, uh, being as we're at the end of the year. Um, it's nothing special, nothing to write home about, but it's just the the books that I've collected that I of characters that I really enjoy reading and rereading. Uh, so it's you know not too big, but uh, not too small either. Of course, it will continue to grow over the next year, a few years, as more and more books come out that I want to read, pick up and read. But uh, this will be a video going over everything that I have up to this point, in December of 2019. So as you can see we're going to start off with Marvel, the Omnibuys. Um, I'm a little pickier uh, when it comes to Marvel as far as what I like to read. Uh, I like to read you know some of the major events that they come out with and then uh, kind of just break it down by characters you know certain characters I really love to read like uh, as you can probably see Daredevil and uh, later on you'll see a bunch of Thor and uh, Punisher but uh, yeah we'll go <clears throat> right across the top shelf here of Marvel first we have the Annihilation Omnibus reprint uh, it was just released uh, like a few weeks ago actually um, I was really happy to pick that up uh, it's a gorgeous book was not able to get my hands on it the first time around, but uh, really happy to have it now. And just need the Annihilation Conquest Omnibus to uh, accompany it. Then we have the two Avengers by Hickman Omnibuy. Uh, for sure, the first one is at, way out of print, um, and it is really expensive online. Uh, Third-party sellers are asking $250, $300 and up for it. It's uh, crazy how sought after that book is. And then there's the volume two, which is, I think is possibly still available. I could be wrong. Um, it's not as expensive as volume one, but uh, it might be out of print as well. Then we have New Avengers by Bendis, Uncanny Avengers by Remender. We have the Carnage Omnibus, which is also out of print. It was released barely a year ago, and uh, it's already out of print. We got some Daredevil. We got Frank Miller, classic stuff. Daredevil Shadowland. And then the two Daredevil by Brubaker and Lark Omnibuy reprints. Uh, all I need is the uh, the two Bendis reprints coming out next at the beginning of next year uh, to complete my Daredevil collection that I want to read. Um, then we got the Stephen King's Dark Tower. Uh, don't own the Gunslinger uh, book, but this is just the regular Dark Tower series. And then we have some Deadpool. We got the Deadpool Classic, uh, Deadpool by Daniel Way, Volume 1 and 2, completing his entire run. I know a lot of people don't really care about that, but uh, I'm, a, I'm a big fan of Deadpool, and that's just Deadpool at his absolute wackiest, in my opinion. I really enjoy it. And uh, Deadpool and Cable, another very long out of print and very sought after Omni. I was lucky enough to get my hands on it a, a, a little while back. Uh, only one I really want that I am missing is the uh, Deadpool by Joe Kelly Omnibus, but again that book is out of print as well and pretty expensive online. But uh, yep, that is the first shelf of Marvel. Let's go on down to the second one. Alright, shelf number two. So on the far left, we've got the two Earth X Trilogy Omnibuys, both the Alpha and Omega ones. Uh, both were released within the last within the last year, I believe. We've got the uh, Guardians of the Galaxy Omnibus by Abnett and Lanning. The Infinity War Omnibus. Uh, really wish I had the Gaunt Infinity Gauntlet Omnibus to go alongside that, uh, but that book is sadly out of print and really expensive online too so uh, I'll just have to pray for a reprint here in the next couple of years I suppose and then we have the Hellstorm by Warren Ellis Omnibus a little, a little thin Omni about less than 450 pages 
but uh, classic stuff. And then we have probably my favorite Omnis that I own uh, in, the, in my Marvel collection, the Punisher by Ennis Omnibuy. Uh, we got the Marvel Knights run on the left, and then the two Max Omnibuy preceding it. Uh, Punisher Max is by far the best Punisher stories you will ever read in your entire life. Pretty much every film adaptation and a good chunk of the the uh, I think believe the, of the TV show is pulled from from Ennis's run, whether that be his the Marvel Knights or the Max run. Just absolutely brilliant writing, classic stuff. Then we have Secret Invasion by Bendis. Then my two Spider-Man books. I'm not a huge fan of Spider-Man. I know, blasphemy. Uh, but I do have this very classic uh, Michelini and McFarlane omnibus. That's the reprint. And then the uh, Amazing Spider-Man by Straczynski. I will definitely pick up volume two. Um, definitely more fan of Spider-Man's rogues gallery. Uh, than, than Spider-Man himself. I believe uh, Spider-Man and Batman probably have the two best rogues galleries in all of comics history by far. And then I've got the Star Wars Darth Vader Omnibus by Kieran Gillen. Uh, still need to pick up the Star Wars Omnibus by uh, Jason Aaron to go alongside that. It'll look really good on the shelf, I think. And then we come to my favorite Marvel character, Thor. We've got the Walter Simonson Mighty Thor Omni, the reprint. Really classic, all-time great stories in that book. And then I've got the two Thor Heroes Return Omnibuy by Dan Jurgens. So that is the end of the second Marvel shelf. We'll move on down to the third and final hardcover Marvel shelf now. All right, final hardcover Marvel shelf. On the left, we have the two Venomnibi. Um, definitely my favorite uh, Spider-Man villain by far. Uh, don't know if we're going to get a third volume. We'll just have to see if there's... You know, I, don't, I don't know how much material from the 90s was actually written total. So if there... You know, hopefully there's enough for a third volume. They're beautiful books. They look amazing on the shelf. I got the War of the Kings Omnibus. Uh, still need the Prelude and the Aftermath Omnibus to complete that. Uh, I know that that uh, Guardians of the Galaxy book that was on the shelf above this actually is spread out through the three War of the Kings Omnibus. So if I get those other two, I'll probably end up selling that uh, Guardians book. But I bought the Guardians book first. And then my only X-Men book, the X-Men Age of Apocalypse. Um... That will hopefully change by next year, as we're going to be seeing reprints of Uncanny X-Force by Remender, uh, Wolverine Omnibus Volume 1, and Astonishing X-Men by Joss Whedon Omnibuy. All three of those are getting reprints next year, so I will definitely be picking up those. And then I have the first Deadpool minibus, which collects a few of his miniseries. Uh, I know there's like two two or three more of those, but uh, I don't know if I you know, care enough to grab those. I have the one that I want for sure. So, And then we move into the oversized hardcovers. I've got the four volumes of Deadpool by Posehn and Dugan. Uh, had the Omnibus originally, but the, that one, book was notorious for being very poorly made, and I don't... Uh, I don't recommend buying that. <laughs> I ended up getting uh, selling mine and, and just buying these four OHCs to replace them. Then I've got the f uh, four of the five Thor by Jason Aaron uh, OHCs. Uh, there is a fifth uh, fifth one out, which is the final uh, stories uh, story arc of the Jane Foster Thor. I haven't picked that one up yet, but. Honestly, I'm just hoping that we'll get a Jason Aaron Thor omnibus or two here in the in the, in the near future. Uh, really love his take on the character and his Saad Ribic's artwork is amazing. 
and then we move on to Wolverine, Old Man Logan, another classic story by Millar and McNiven. Um, this book was the the foundation of the movie Logan, which the best on screen interpretation of Wolverine that we've ever seen, in my opinion. Uh, love that movie to death. And then we have some uh, more event books here. We've got Avengers vs. X Men. We've got the Avengers vs. X Men Companion. Avengers No Surrender. Avengers Standoff. Avengers Time Runs Out. I know that that book is collected in the event, uh, Hickman's Avengers Run, but uh, I bought that book before. I bought those Omnibuy. <laughs> and then we have Civil War, classic story. Of original Sin, Secret Empire, the infamous story where Cap uh, was a, actually, you know, supposedly a, a sleeper cell for Hydra. Uh, then we have Secret Wars, which is the conclusion to Hickman's Avengers run. And finally, on the end, we have Venom Volume One by Donny Cates. Love, like I said, love me some Venom, and Donny Cates is absolutely knocking out of the park with that character. Can't wait to see where he continues to go with it. So, uh, that's the end of that shelf. Alright, next shelf is a smaller shelf. Uh, there's still oversized hardcovers, but it's a collection of different uh, independent comics. So, uh, on the far left there, we've got three from Aftershock. we got uh, Baby Teeth, Year One. By Donny Cates. Uh, Dark Arc, Arc 1 by Cullen Bunn. And Jimmy's Bastards, the complete series by Garth Ennis, one of my favorite writers of all time. And then we move on to Dark Horse right next to it. We have the three volumes of The Strain, um, another different take on the vampire mythos, and it was actually developed into a TV series that ran on FX for I forget how many seasons I never watched any of it but the comics great I loved it and then we get into the Valiant universe we have first we have the Armor Hunters OHC very sought after book and it is way out of print and I think it fetches like over a hundred dollars online it's ridiculous how much money that thing goes for I was able to get it real cheap fortunately though I got uh, Bloodshot Reborn, Volume 1. Still need to get Volume 2. The first printing of Divinity, the complete trilogy. Um, that book went out of print very fast and, again, also was commanding over $100 online. Uh, they have since re-released uh, re it uh, with a slightly different uh, design for the cover, but uh, you can get that on for relatively cheap online now. And then I've got Harbinger, Volume 1 and 2, Wrath of the Eternal Warrior, and all five Exo Man of War volumes. So uh, that is my little independent oversized hardcover shelf. All right, below that, we have some standard sized hardcovers from uh, different independent publishers. On the far left is the Game of Thrones graphic novel collection. Uh, I don't have all of them, but there's two volumes from uh, the first book, which is the Game of Thrones. There's four uh, volumes of that so far. I'm, I'm missing the second two. And then there's also two volumes from A Clash of Kings. Um, those the, They've just released those six volumes right now. Um, uh, hopefully they continue on with Clash of Kings and then we'll continue on with the rest of the series. Um, gorgeous artwork. Uh, I'm not going to pull it out right now, but if you guys want to see what those books look like, I might do an overview, you know, in the near future. And I've got the Abe Sapien, volumes one, two, and three. The third volume being just a collection of other short stories. Uh, we got BPRD, 1946 to 48. Volume 1 of BPRD, Plague of Frogs, hardcover. 
those are really out of print and really expensive. Even the trade paperbacks are expensive as hell. Um, so that's the only volume I have of that right now. Hopefully get the rest of them, you know, eventually. <laughs> they got all five volumes of BPRD, Hell on Earth. Got the volume one of Witchfinder. I do have the Baltimore Omnibus on the way right now. Uh, just slow shipping with the holidays, unfortunately. Then I have all three volumes of Berserk, which is the only manga that I own currently. Um, these absolutely beautiful uh, black and red hardcovers. Uh, probably one of the most popular manga of all time. Um, again, the only one that I own and the only one that I've read so far, but uh, we'll see. Maybe it's going to open up some doors for me. <laughs> we'll just have to wait and see. But Into uh, that shelf. Alright, and on the bottom I have more independent titles. But these are all what you would call library size, so they're way oversized, much bigger than Omnibuys. Uh, on the left, we got a whole collection of Rick Remender books. We got Crawl Space, Deadly Class, Volumes 1 and 2, Low, cannot wait for a Volume 2 of that, the entire Tokyo Ghost uh, series, all written by Rick Remender, all really great titles. And then right here, I don't know if you can tell, uh, it's an IDW book. It's Bram Stoker's Dracula. It's the uh, from the the movie with uh, Gary Oldman. Uh, just a uh, graphic novelization of that. And then we have the complete Gail Simone Red Sonia Omnibus, just recently released. Really happy to have that. Absolutely gorgeous book and gorgeous artwork. And then we have... The End League, also written by Rick Remender. I got all four volumes of the classic uh, Tomb Raider stuff from the 90s. It was originally Top Cow, and uh, you know these volumes were released by Dark Horse. But um, really happy to have those, as pretty much all of those, except maybe the fourth volume, are out of print. <laughs> and then this is the newer series of Tomb Raider, based on the, the newer video games, uh, written by Gail Simone. One of my favorite comic books I own right here, The Witcher Library Edition from Dark Horse. I have done a video overview of that if you guys want to check it out. Um, absolutely beautiful book. Love it to death. And then, I've got my seven volumes of Hellboy Library Edition. Beautiful books. Really happy to own all those. Uh, these are still in print if you guys are interested in it. You can get them on in stock or, or Amazon or cheap graphic novels or anything like that. Uh, don't know how much longer they will be though. They've been out for a while, and uh, yeah, they they you know you never know when they'll decide to stop uh, printing these books, especially with these smaller uh, independent companies. I mean, Dark Horse isn't you know terribly small, but uh, still, you never know. All right, now we move on to my favorite bookshelf, the DC Omnibuys. <clears throat> so on the far left, we have the, the 52 Omnibus by Jeff Johns, Morrison, Greg Rucka, Mark Wade, Keith Giffen. Then we have the Aquaman by Jeff Johns Omnibus, one of my favorite books that I own. I love Aquaman, one of my favorite DC characters right behind Batman and Flash. And then we have The Authority Omnibus by Warren Ellis and Mark Millar. Batman, The Arkham Saga Omnibus, based on the Batman Arkham video games. Absolutely love those. Some of the best games I've ever played. <clears throat> and I've got The Batman Eternal Omnibus. The two Batman by Grant Morrison Omnibuy that they've released so far. The third one has been solicited. It's going to come out, I think maybe August or September of 2020. We got the Batman by Jeff Loeb and Tim Sale Omnibus. Classic stuff. Speaking of classic stuff, all three volumes of Batman Nightfall. And then on the far right is the new Batman by Snyder and Capullo Omnibus, Volume 1. Hopefully we get a Volume 2 
in 2020 and hopefully it'll have better binding than this one does <laughs> next shelf down we have the Batman and Robin by Tomasi and Gleason Omnibus one of my favorite runs out of the new 52 everything about that run is just gold I love it to death and a beautiful book uh, that was previously out of print but they they uh, there's a new printing out now so uh, pick it up if you can and we got the Before Watchmen Omnibus. It's actually the most viewed video on my channel is the overview of that book. So really happy to own that. We got the Blackest Night 10th Anniversary Omnibus. Deathstroke, the new 52 Omnibus. Deathstroke is my absolute favorite Batman uh, villain of all time. Love him. Uh, Final Crisis 10th Anniversary Omnibus also uh, has, now has a reprint out. <clears throat> the Flash Omnibus by Manipool and Buccioletto. The brand new printing of The Flash by Jeff Johns Omnibus, Volume 1. Haven't even gotten around to making a video of that. Um, don't know if I even want to, to be honest. That book is barely 800 pages long, and the binding is as tight as the Capullo and Snyder Omnibus. I'm really disappointed with that to be honest, but, uh, oh well. We got the Fourth World Omnibus by Jack Kirby, and then the Bronze Age Omnibus by Jack Kirby. I know, I know, those, it's not in alphabetical order, but uh, those two books just look beautiful on the shelf next to each other, so I, I couldn't resist putting them like that. We got the Grayson Omnibus from uh, the New 52. Also has a reprint out now. And we have a uh, volume one of Jeff John's Green Lantern run. Classic stuff right there. So that's the end of that shelf. All right, continuing on, we have the following two volumes of John's Green Lantern run. So volumes two and three, collecting Blackest Night in volume two and his new 52 stuff in the third volume. And we also have the three new, fi oh, oh, I'm sorry, two New 52 Harley Quinn Omnibi, and then that third volume is actually her Rebirth stuff, uh, all written by Amanda Connor. And we have He-Man and the Masters of the Universe Omnibus, I think was a sleeper hit of 2019. Uh, that book is absolutely beautiful. Then we have the Infinite Crisis Omnibus reprint, uh, which is actually out of print now again, but I think I remember seeing a solicitation for 2020. They're going to be releasing a third printing of that. So definitely pick that up if you can once that comes out. And we have Injustice Gods Among Us Omnibus Volume 1. I recently did an overview of that as well. You can check that out on my channel if you want to. Uh, Justice League The Dark Side War Saga Omnibus. Freaking love that book. That is the... The final story arc of Jeff John's uh, Justice League run from the New 52 with artwork by the amazing Jason Fabok. Love that book to death. Then we have all three JSA Omnibuy by uh, Jeff Johns. Uh, I'm pretty sure at least two of those are out of print. Uh, as you can see on volume one right here, uh, you've got the, the newer DC logo as opposed to these two. So this was a, a newer printing of the book when I picked it up. Um, I think it might still be in print, but I, I want to say two, for sure two, and maybe three are out of print, unfortunately. But uh, very, very happy to have those in my collection as well. Final shelf of DC Omnibuy. We have the Orion by Simonson Omnibus. More classic fourth world stuff. Planetary Omnibus by Warren Ellis and John Cassidy. Red Hood and the Outlaws from the New 52 Omnibus Volume 1. Still waiting on a Volume 2 of that. Seven Soldiers of Victory uh, by Grant Morrison Omnibus. The reprint, and in my opinion, better print of the Death and Return of Superman Omnibus 
really classic stuff there. Super Sons. We have Wonder Woman by Phil Jimenez, Omnibus. We have Wonder Woman by Azarello and Chang, Omnibus, from the New 52. Love that run to death. Really reinvigorated and expanded upon the Wonder Woman mythos. And finally, we have the Teen Titans by Jeff Johns, Omnibus, which is also out of print, I believe. Um, sorry if you missed out on that one. That is... Gorgeous book. I'm really happy to have that one in my collection as well. But uh, yeah, that's the end of the DC Omnibuy. We'll go on to the next shelf. Alright, last shelf on this bookcase. I have my absolute editions and just more oversized uh, books that are the size of absolutes. <laughs> so I have the two authority absolute editions, the new printings. Uh, I know I have the Authority Omnibus up top uh, Obviously picked up the absolutes before the Omni um, I don't know what I'll do honestly. It's great story and great art and it's cool to have two op uh, you know options of reading it um, But you know, maybe eventually I might get rid of the absolutes. I don't know yet <clears throat> Then I've got the absolute court of owls my favorite story arc from the new 52 Batman run by Snyder love it love it love it we got uh, Batman Hush by Loeb and, and Lee. Classic stuff. Classic story. Great artwork. Great book in general. Then I have The Absolute Killing Joke, another classic Batman story by the great Alan Moore. And I have The Batman and Robin, Batman Reborn Absolute by Grant Morrison. Uh, I believe all that uh, content is collected in the second volume of Morrison's Omni, uh, Batman Omnibuy, uh, but this book is definitely out of print, um, and I bought it before the Omnibus, uh, obviously, but uh, yeah, again, don't know what I'll do with that, maybe I'll sell it one day, it's, it's nice to have different options of reading. <laughs> There's a few uh, characters and uh, stories that I have uh, collected in various formats, so yeah, double dipper. Obviously, with the Infinite Crisis, absolute, uh, really fantastic story. Love that uh, that story arc to death. Um, nice to have it in this really oversized format as well. Then I have Justice League by Johns and Lee. It's the first two uh, volumes of the New 52 Justice League. Really great to have Jim Lee artwork in that huge oversized format. <laughs> Then I have Absolute Kingdom Come, the reprint. Really great to have Alex Ross artwork in that size as well. And then we come to probably one of my favorite comics of all time, Preacher. These three uh, absolutes are absolutely gorgeous to look at. The Just the way they're made and put together and sewn. It's all sewn binding. Gorgeous books to own and a great story written by the incredible Garth Ennis. This is probably his magnum opus. I think most uh, fans will agree. And it's actually get, getting uh, a 25th anniversary omnibus uh, next year, a volume one, so you can assume there's going to be a volume two. Might have to double dip and get that, uh, just because it's, it's Preacher, so you can't go wrong with that. And we have the two Superman and Batman absolutes uh, by... Loeb and McGinnis, and the first volume actually has a story arc uh, drawn by the late, great Michael Turner. Love his artwork. And I have The Absolute Swamp Thing by Alan Moore, Volume 1. Binding on mine is actually not that bad at all. I know there's a lot of people who are complaining with, about their volumes having uh, binding issues, but mine pretty much doesn't have any. I was lucky, I think, you know. Uh, we have gotten a solicitation for Volume 2, supposed to come out, I think, in the fall of uh, 2020. So, can't wait for that. And we have one of my favorite comics of all time, again, uh, Absolute Watchmen. I try to read that story once a year. Uh, it's just so good and so uh, classic stuff. Definitely changed the course of comics forever, once it came when it came out in the 80s. 
And you got Absolute Wildcats by Jim Lee. Uh, mainly get that for the artwork. The, the massive, oversized Jim Lee artwork. And then on the far right there, I've got the reprinting of The World's Greatest Superheroes. Written by, I believe it's Paul Dini. It's been a while since I've read it. But uh, illustrated by the amazing Alex Ross. Top notch artwork in that book. Love it to death. And then up here I've got the five volumes of the Six Gun that they've released so far. Written by Cullen Bunn. That's uh, published by Oni Press. And then on the right I've got the Boom Studios Complete Crimson Omnibus. It's uh, more, you know, like I said, more of an absolute sized. And then the one, uh, I guess you could call it deluxe edition of The Walking Dead uh, from Image. Uh, I, do, I do, I have read more than that volume. I really want to get the remaining, uh, I think, five or six volumes uh, in that oversized format. But uh, yeah, I uh, definitely need to pick those up in the future. All right. Now I've got some oversized DC Rebirth hardcovers. <clears throat> Almost all the ones that they've released so far. So on the far left, we have the, the Rebirth Deluxe Edition, the, the little you know short story that kicked uh, off Rebirth. And then we have Batman and Detective Comics and Batman, uh, the, the button, the Batman Flash crossover. We have the Flash, Harley Quinn, which those three volumes are collected in that third omnibus volume. And I've got Justice League Rebirth, the one volume of Justice League of America, Nightwing Rebirth, uh, Suicide Squad, Superman, Superman Action Comics, and then uh, Wonder Woman on the far right. <clears throat> and all the way over to the right is my uh, deluxe edition of Batman Damned. I uh, just put it up there just because it's actually much wider than a regular deluxe edition. It's more along the lines of the deluxe like premium size that they were releasing these singles in. Um, but it's the you know, size of a deluxe edition, height-wise. So, uh, yeah, first uh, shelf of my DC OHCs. Alright, second shelf of DC hardcovers. Got the uh, deluxe edition of Action Comics number 1000. Still need to pick up Detective Comics number 1000 deluxe, just so I can have them both. They look good on the shelf. And I've got uh, Action and Detective Comics, the 80 Years of Superman and Batman uh, deluxe editions. Really cool little com compilation books uh, showing their different comics over the years. <clears throat> then I got the Batman Dark Knight Saga. Love the Dark Knight Returns, all-time classic Batman stories. Dark Knight Strikes Again is another matter. But, uh, then I got the Batman by Manipul and Buccioletto. Another version of Hush, which is the 15th anniversary deluxe edition. The deluxe edition of The Killing Joke. Double dipping all around. Uh, Crisis on Infinite Earths, classic stuff. The Dark Knight's Metal by Scott Snyder. The DC Bombshells, I still need to get volume two of that. The Global Frequency by uh, Warren Ellis. We have Green Arrow by Jeff Lemire from the New 52. Identity Crisis, 10th Anniversary Edition by Brad Meltzer. Not crazy about that story overall. It's, it, it feels very all over the place. I know there's a big cult following behind it, but i just not a big fan of it. You got Injustice Deluxe Volume 1. <clears throat> One of the very first videos I ever did on this channel. But it is now kind of obsolete with the uh, Injustice Omnibuys coming out. Uh, Justice the Deluxe Edition. More great Alex Ross artwork. And we have the Justice League by Christopher Priest Deluxe Edition. The brand new Justice League by Scott Snyder, Volume 1. We have JLA Earth 2 by Grant Morrison and Frank Quitely. A Deluxe Edition of Kingdom Come. 
Then we have Grant Morrison's Multiversity uh, from the New 52. Superman Unchained by Snyder and, and Jim Lee. And finally, we have uh, Swamp Thing by Scott Snyder and Yannick Paquette. Love that book. Love me some good Swamp Thing stories. So, yep, that's the end of that shelf. All right, next shelf on the list is Vertigo. Rest in peace. Uh, we have on the far left, Animal Man by Grant Morrison, 30th Anniversary Deluxe Edition, book one. Still waiting on book two. Don't know when it's coming out. They need to hurry up and release that, though, because the omnibus is very out of print and very expensive. And then I've got all 15 volumes of Fables. Um, I think I remember hearing in another video <clears throat> they're actually going to be releasing Absolute editions of Fables. That's going to be like seven, six, seven books to get all 150-something issues of that in there. <laughs> That's a great series, though. And I got the four deluxe editions of The Invisibles by Grant Morrison. Pretty much all of those are out of print. You can still get the omnibus, but uh, I opted just for the deluxe editions. Uh, Promethea, book one deluxe edition by Alan Moore and Jake H. Williams III. The volume two actually just got released, I think, last week. Uh, still need to pick that up. <clears throat> and then I think we're going to be getting a volume three... Uh, maybe by the middle of next year. Uh, fingers crossed. <laughs> and then one of my favorite Vertigo books, Scalped by Jason Aaron, all, all five volumes of that. There's a couple of volumes of that that are uh, out of print. I don't know which ones. I think it might be for sure volume two and maybe volume one. Um, that's a great story, though. A great crime story. It, it, it reads like a... TV show. It would make an amazing TV show, I think. Then I got The Sheriff of Babylon by Tom King. Uh, all three volumes of Jeff Lemire's Sweet Tooth. And I don't know if you can see it all the way in the right hand corner. It's kind of dark and it's a black cover, but it's the 30th anniversary edition of V for Vendetta by Alan Moore. Uh, I've done a video overview of that too, if you want to check it out. All right, and on the next shelf. I have my DC Vertigo Omnibuy, just the few that I have collected. On the left, we have the American Vampire Omnibus by Scott Snyder and Raphael Albuquerque, Volume 1. That was actually the very first overview video I ever did on this channel, um, well over a year ago. Uh, we need to hurry up and get us a Volume 2 Vertigo DC. What's, what's going on? Where's Volume 2 at? Then I have uh, Ex Machina by Brian K. Vaughn, Omnibus. Collects the entire, I think it's 50 issues. Then we have The League of Extraordinary Gentlemen by Alan Moore. Lucifer, Omnibus, Volume 1 by Mike Carey. So I safe to assume we're getting a Volume 2. All three volumes of Sandman. Love that series to death. It's one of the all-time greatest comics of, ever written. Um, and probably one of the greatest pieces of literature in general ever written. Neil Gaiman is a is a genius. <laughs> and finally, my most recent overview video covered this book. It's uh, Why the Last Man Omnibus by Brian K. Vaughn. Love that story to death. All right, on to image. So first up, we have Black Magic by uh, Greg Rucka and Nicola Scott. Descender by Lemire, Volume 1. <clears throat> I still need to pick up Volume 2. East of West, Volume 1 and 2 by Jonathan Hickman. Five Ghosts. I don't think we'll ever get a Volume 2 of that. Uh, that might collect the whole thing. I could be wrong. It's been a while <laughs> since I've read it. Uh, Injection, Volume 1 by Warren Ellis. And then possibly my favorite superhero story of all time, Invincible. I cannot tell you how f much I freaking adore this series. I blew through all 12 volumes of that so fast. Uh, absolutely brilliant storytelling. And it's just fun. 
the artwork pops very fits very well with the story and like i said it's just fun all around that's that's the best way to describe that series is fun i love it to death and we have one of my favorite image series uh lazarus uh following that <clears throat> finally got a volume three uh i think it might be on a hiatus right now that's written by uh greg rucka as well but uh Really hope they continue with that series. Love it, love it, love it to death. Like a real dystopian type future uh, story. And we got the Luther Strode Complete Series. We got uh, the brand new Kill or Be Killed by Brubaker and Phillips. The three OHCs of Morning Glories. Uh, I don't know why they stopped after Volume 3, because I think there's about three or four more trades come after uh, those three volumes and they could have easily done another one or two uh, hardcover volumes but uh, they have not done that for some reason unknown to me <laughs> and then I've got the Nailbiter volumes one and two all right final image hardcover shelf got the Nail Nailbiter volume three Nameless by Grant Morrison Outcast uh, by Kirkman, Volumes 1 and 2. Still need to pick up Volume 3. And I've got uh, Revival, the complete collections of Volumes 1 to 4 by Tim Seeley. One of my favorite image titles as well, Saga by Brian K. Vaughn. I think that series is on hiatus at the moment as well, but uh, hopefully it continues. Velvet, the complete collection by uh, uh, Brubaker and Epting. The three volumes released so far of The Wicked plus The Divine. I think we're going to get one more volume to complete the series. I've got The Witchblade and Darkness Compendiums, both volume two hardcovers. Uh, volume one uh, of each is so hard to find um, for a decent price. They are ridiculously expensive. And finally... I've got uh, Spawn, Volumes 1 to 10, which I think collects the first 125 issues, I believe. I could be wrong, but that's I think that's about it. But a lot of those are out of print. Um, really happy to have those in my collection, though. Not crazy about Spawn, but just the collector in me is really happy to have those. And then right next to it is the Spawn, the Dark Ages complete collection. That book is very out of print. <laughs> really happy to have that one as well. So, uh, yep, yeah, that is my image uh, hardcover collections. All right, last bookshelf. These are my standard size hardcovers and the few trade paperbacks that I own. Uh, try not to collect many trades, but you know, some uh, titles will just never see a hardcover, let alone an OHC. Uh, release so this is the first shelf of or the only shelf of hardcovers a standard size so on the left we got the Dark Knight 3 Master Race I know they just released an absolute edition of that but uh, it's not really at the top anywhere near the top of my list to pick up we got the Batman White Knight by Sean Murphy Batman Who Laughs and then we got uh, the Brave and the Bold Batman Wonder Woman uh, by Liam Sharp. We have Dark Days, The Road to Metal, and Dark Knights Metal, Dark Knights Rising. Both of those books are tie-ins to uh, Scott Snyder's uh, Dark Knights Metal event. We got The Death of the New Gods, written by Jim Starlin. More fourth world goodness. The Flash, volume seven and eight, from the New 52, uh, written by Robert Bendetti. Uh, really love the artwork in that, uh, by Brett Booth. Then we have Heroes in Crisis, the new event from new, newest event from DC. Injustice 2, Volumes 1 to 3. I know they're up to like Volume 6 right now, by now, so I'm slacking on that end. <laughs> then we have Justice League, Cry for Justice. 
Then we have the Justice League of America, uh, mid 2000s run uh, by Brad Meltzer. There's a six volumes of that, I think. I've only got five. I need one more to complete it. <clears throat> then I have Jeff Johns' Justice League run from the New 52, all the way up until volume six, of course. Forever Evil. We got Justice League of America, Power and Glory. Justice League vs. Suicide Squad from Rebirth. Mr. Miracle from Tom King. And then a very underrated series, in my opinion at least, was the Superman Wonder Woman, uh, written by Peter J. Tomasi. Love that series to death. A lot of people didn't care for it, but I really enjoyed it. And then the following three volumes of Wonder Woman after uh, Azarella's run, just uh, just to complete, finish the New 52 run, leading up to Rebirth. And then the two of the two of the three uh, Wonder Woman by John Byrne hardcovers. Need to get the third one. And finally, that blue book on the right, it's, I know it's hard to see, is the uh, Legend of Wonder Woman, Volume One Origins. So that is my standard sized hardcover shelf. All right, so on to the trade paperbacks. Majority of this stuff is from the New 52. Um, just stuff that I know will never see hardcover volumes. Maybe one day eventually, but you never know with DC. I really want to get into the custom binding game. So there's a number of, of these titles that I would love to uh, ship off to be custom bound. Um, so I'll run through these pretty briefly because there is a lot. We got the Vol Aquaman volumes five through eight after Jeff Johns run from the New Fifty Two. I would just that's the remainder of the Aquaman run. Would love a custom bind of that. Batgirl by Gail Simone would love a custom bind of that. Batman Arkham Asylum by Grant Morrison. Uh, Batman Battle for the Cow. Black Mirror. Uh, Death in the Family, classic Batman story. Uh, Batman, the Resurrection of Ra's al Ghul. Batman Under the Red Hood, another classic Batman story. Uh, Batman, Tales of the Multiverse, a Vampire. And we have the classic Batman Year One by Frank Miller. And then we have Batman the Dark Knight from the New 52. Really underrated series. Really wish... It would you know have got more attention than it did uh, great artwork great storytelling I would love to get a custom pine made of that love it to death then we have Batman and Robin Eternal really wish they would get a, a release an actual omnibus of that just to go next to the Batman Eternal omnibus I think it would look awesome Batman Superman there's six volumes of that would love to get maybe two custom hard covers of that Catwoman, Volumes 1 to 3. Eh, take that, I'll leave it. The DC Universe by Alan Moore. The two Deathstroke volumes that preceded the Deathstroke Omnibus that I have by Tony S. Daniel. These are the two volumes that came before. And then it was canceled. <laughs> uh, Flashpoint. I need to get that in an absolute edition. Love that story, love the artwork. Love it, love it, love it. We have uh, some more Flashpoint tie-ins. And then we have Injustice, years one to five, uh, in trade paperback. Uh, those will be going away as I, you know, I'll fade, be fading them out as I get the uh, second uh, Injustice Omnibus, whenever it will be released, who knows. <clears throat> then we have some Lobo books. I love Lobo to death. Really great character, really funny character. This book here, this Lobo Unbound, very sought after book. It's only like 140 pages, but that little trade paperback I've seen goes up goes for seventy, eighty dollars online. It is insane. Really happy to have that. And we have Nightwing from the New Fifty Two. I would love to have that uh, bound into a custom bind. It is such a great run. Shazam by Johns, uh, Suicide Squad, Supergirl, five volumes of that. Uh, Superman. Ugh. We won't talk about the new 52 Superman. <laughs> and then there's the uh, the whole truth 
a story arc where Superman had lost his powers and then was he was dating Wonder Woman and eventually gets them back. That whole story arc is amazing, but you have to it it went across like three or four titles as it was being released, so you had to keep up with it. I just hunted down the trades uh, in the order that you have to read them. It's a great story. And we have a Titans Hunt, a Wonder Woman by Greg Rucka. Still need to get volume three of that. This is pre rebirth. And a Wonder Woman by Mike Deotaru. Classic 90s stuff. And up on top, just because I ran out of room, we've got World's Finest, which is uh, the Supergirl and Robin from Earth 2. Is it Earth 2? No. Yes, Earth, Earth 2. Uh, that. When Darkseid invaded their world and destroyed it, they escaped to our, you know, Earth Zero uh, timeline, and they became Power Girl and Huntress. Great little series, again, really underrated. And what else is up? Another we got uh, Talon, and we have Earth Two: World's End, Justice League Dark, and I Vampire. Again, all really not really talked about uh, series from the New Fifty Two. Uh, but I enjoy them. That's why I picked them up. So that is the first shelf of trades. All right. Second shelf of trades is mainly uh, my Rebirth titles that were not released in OHCs. Um, and then, of course, there's the two Batman War Games on top there just because I was ran out of space. <laughs> but, yeah, the, those... Uh, Rebirth trades are just again stuff that was not that I wanted to read that was not going to be collected in hardcovers. So we got you know All Star Batman and Aquaman and uh, Deathstroke, Green Lantern, Hal Jordan and the Green Lantern Corps, Red Hood, Supergirl, Teen Titans, Titans, which is a great series, and uh, Trinity, Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman. Over here, you can see those are some uh, Blu-rays. Uh, they're all DC animated movies. Uh, on the far left, you probably can't even see it, is the complete uh, Batman the Animated Series from the 90s on Blu-ray. I've got the, just, the complete Justice League and Justice League Unlimited animated series. Love those. Those are really great. And then just a number of different uh, DC animated movies. Like we got Under the Red Hood. We have Assault on Arkham. Dark Knight Returns, Flashpoint Paradox, uh, Throne of Atlantis, Justice League Dark. There's just a number of, uh, of different uh, DC animated movies. DC is really great with their animation. I love a majority of their movies. There's some that are you know hit or miss, but most of them are really great. And then up here, I don't know, you can even see that on the video. That's my... Uh, those are my Witcher books. <laughs> really big fan of The Witcher, as I've said in previous videos. Uh, just finished the TV show. Really loved it. Thought Henry Cavill did an amazing job on it. Uh, but that's a that's a topic for another video. All right, final shelf of my trades contains my Marvel books and my independent books. A number of these I would love to get made into custom binds eventually as well, uh, but we'll just have to wait and see with that. <laughs> On the far left, we have Aftershock. So we have the Brothers Dracul, the two volumes of Pestilence, Unholy Grail, Walk Through Hell by Garth Ennis. And then we have Aspen Comics, which is the late, great Michael Turner's uh, publishing company. Uh, his magnum opus, in my opinion, which was Fathom, that's the uh, definitive edition trade paperback, and then the uh, volume two following that, would love to get a custom bind of that. Michael Turner was such an amazing artist, really loved his artwork, very detailed, Just absolutely amazing artist. And then we have Turner's Soulfire, the definitive edition. And we have one from Boom Studios, which is Curse. It's a werewolf book. I love anything having to do with supernatural stuff, you know, vampires, werewolves, anything like that. Then we have Boundless Comics. We have uh, Lady Death, Origin, and then uh, regular the, the 
regular two volumes of Lady Death. And we have uh, one Dark Horse book, which is The Mask Omnibus. Uh, that's what the movie with Jim Carrey is based off of. Uh, however, the comic is way more violent than the movie ever was. They definitely toned it down for the film. And then we go into Dynamite. We have four volumes of The Boy's Omnibus. Um, I still need to get volume five and six. Love, love, love this series. This is probably my favorite Garthinus uh, series after Preacher. It's so good, so over the top. And uh, of course, there is the Amazon Prime uh, TV show. Uh, I actually haven't watched much of that. I don't, I don't have Prime myself, but uh, I was able to. I've been able to watch a, a couple episodes, and I love what I saw. I would love to, you know, again get volumes five and six, and then split all six volumes into three individual hardcover custom binds. I think that would look amazing on the shelf. Seeing as how those definitive editions, those absolute size. Uh, versions of the boys are really out of print and I heard the binding is really terrible on them too so would love to get a custom bind custom uh, binds of the boys and then we have Jennifer Blood Omnibus Volume 1 also by Garth Ennis safe to assume we might get a Volume 2 since this one says Volume 1 but I, I don't know <laughs> then we have The Beauty Volume 1 it's a great uh, crime, another great crime uh, series from Image. Just never really followed up with it. Then we have Curse Words by Charles Soule, Volumes 1 to 4. The Darkness Origins by Garth Ennis, uh, the first four volumes. That is most of what is contained in the first uh, Darkness Compendium that I do not own. Um, just a little bit missing, but I would love to make a custom bind of that. Just make my own custom bind. I think that would be really cool. And then I have uh, the two volumes of uh, Gideon Falls by uh, Jeff Lemire. And then I have Moonshine, Volume 1 by Azarello. I need to get Volume 2. Redneck by Donny Cates. Severed, Scott Snyder, and Witches by Scott Snyder. And then finally, on the end, uh, the last of the independent books is Ferals by uh, David Lapham. Really great uh, werewolf series. Really gory, if you're into that kind of stuff. And then starts my my Marvel trades. we got uh, one volume of Jessica, uh, Max, Jessica Jones... <clears throat> One volume of uh, Black Panther by Christopher Priest, Daredevil by uh, Kevin Smith. One volume of Deadpool and Cable. I purchased that many years ago before I picked up the Omnibus. Got uh, two volumes of Deadpool Max, uh, Electra Assassin by Frank Miller, The Infinity Gauntlet. So you know this is what I have to settle for right now, and just keep my fingers crossed that they'll release a, a reprint of the Infinity Gauntlet Omnibus. God, I hope they do. <laughs> Infinity War. So again, they've released an omnibus of this. So you know, it's kind of obsolete. <clears throat> Infinity Crusade. I've got two Star Wars uh, trades here. Uh, they're the... Uh, what are they? they? They're like the... I don't know. This premium line. I forget which, what it's called. But the Legacy Volume 1 and the Old Republic Volume 1. Uh first volume of Donny Cates Venom uh, again kind of obsolete after having gotten the uh, oversized hardcover version of that uh, Winter Soldier by Ed Brubaker the com uh, plea collection all three volumes of Wolverine Max these are really hard to come by uh, the artwork is not the greatest but it's a Max story so you know I had to pick them up that's all I believe that's all three volumes there I don't think there's a, another one. The two complete collections of Uncanny X-Force by Rick Remender. So these will be obsolete next year once they reprint the Omnibus. I will scoop that up the week it comes out. You got X-Men Mutant Genesis 2.0 by Chris Claremont and Jim Lee. And finally, we got a Thor book. It's kind of it's not really in the right order, 
but uh, Thor, oh, World Engine, uh, trade paperback. So that is the extent of my collection, guys. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed the video. You know, leave a comment down below. Tell me what your uh, your favorite book that you saw was. Uh, if you have anything similar to me. Uh, you know, like I said, 2020 is hopefully going to be a really great year for collected editions and, and collectors such as myself. Uh, and like I said, we got some really great reprints coming out. Those Daredevil by Bendis Omnibuys and then the, all the the X-Men reprints. I'm gonna scoop better believe I'm gonna scoop those up on the day they come out. We'll just have to wait and see what uh, the rest of 2020 will have in store for us. But uh, yep, yeah, end of the video guys. Uh, I wanna wish everyone a very happy new year. Uh, I'm gonna wish everyone a very safe new year too. Don't drink and drive. It's not worth it. <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah as always if you did enjoy the video Go ahead and uh, give it a thumbs up, comment down below, subscribe, do that whole thing. And I will see you all next year. Thanks.